All right, next we're going to look about is compound inequalities. Well, we really have two types of compound inequalities, and the first one we're going to talk about are conjunctions. And uh, you, you guys should have the word conjunction from English class. In fact, there's this schoolhouse rock that you guys probably saw. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Uh, the funny part is everybody remembers that, but don't always remember what their function is. But anyway, it's combining uh, two words, clauses, or phrases with and, or, or, but, or something like that. But anyway, uh, our conjunction, basically that's what it is. Just like it would be in English, it's putting things together. So as you can see, we really have two inequalities. We have this one, and then we have this one. So... If you want to, you can break these up and solve them independently, and that's fine with me. And just, But you have to remember to put them back together to determine your answer. So you can't just keep them separated the whole time. I basically just work it as one inequality. It's just what I uh, have to remember is anytime you have two inequalities put together, you really have three parts, a left, a middle, and a right. So as I'm solving for my variable in the middle, what I'll do is I will... Uh, do the same steps I would. It's being multiplied by 2 and added by 1, so I'm going to subtract 1. I just have to subtract 1 from each part. So when I do that, over here, I'll get negative 4 is less than 2x, which is less than or equal to 2. Now, if for some reason I multiply or divide by a negative, I still need to flip my inequality, but this time I'm multiplying or dividing by a positive 2. Uh, if you notice, I did it to each part, the middle, the right, and the left. Uh, make sure you don't only uh, you only do it to uh, one section or two sections. Do it to all of them. So when you do this, you'll get negative two is less. Whoops, not less than or equal to, just less than on this side. So less than x, which is less than or equal to one. So what I'll do now is I can go ahead and uh, and get my solution in terms of my interval. The left end of my interval is going to be negative two. The right end would be one. Uh, the negative 2 is not included because there is no bar underneath my inequality, but the 1 is, so I'll put it in a bracket. Interval notation uh, looks like that. Set builder would look like this. The x is such that negative 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 1. There you go. So that's your com compound inequality conjunction.